Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Information Retrieval course offered by the University of Amsterdam. My name is Ilya Markov, and I will be your teacher throughout this course. I'll start with introducing myself, my research interests, and my uh, teaching experience, and then I'll switch to discussing information retrieval in general and what we are going to learn during this course. Um, right now, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Amsterdam, the Information Retrieval Lab. You can check that uh, URL for the activities of our group. I was a postdoctoral researcher at the same group for four years before becoming an assistant professor. And I, um, during that same period, I was an invited lecturer at, in St. Petersburg in Russia, where I'm from. And I did my PhD at the University of Lugano in Switzerland. So my main interest for the last uh, quite many years was um, in user interactions in search. So particularly, we've been working on learning from users where we see a search engine and information retrieval system as a policy, and we see a um, user as an environment, and they keep on interacting. So a user submits a query, for example, if we talk about search engines or user uh, fills in a user profile, if we talk about recommender systems, for example, and then the search engine or recommender system returns a certain, certain answer to the uh, submitted query or user profile, uh, mostly in the form of ranked document list. And then user provides certain feedback like clicks or mouse movements or watch or like and so on and so forth. And uh, this can be seen as a reinforcement learning problem where uh, the policy or research engine or recommended system learns from this feedback. And then this loops continues over and over again. And so uh, we introduced uh, a number of methods for improving search engine performance. And we did a lot of work on uh, click modeling uh, that we will discuss later during this course. Now, in terms of teaching, uh, I've been teaching master and bachelor courses on information retrieval, web search, statistics, and, and beyond uh, at the University of Amsterdam, also at the University of Lugana. And as I said, I was an invited lecturer in St. Petersburg uh, in Russia, uh, but mostly my teaching in, is within IR. And uh, specifically, I also did a number of tutorials on distributed IR, which I was working on during my PhD and on click models, which was my focus uh, around 2015, 2018. Uh, by the way, you can check materials on the tutorials on click models using this link. There is also a book on click models there that you can use for free. So now let's uh, turn to information retrieval. So what is information retrieval? Uh, there are many definitions out there, but we usually in our group, we put it simple. Information retrieval is about technology to connect people to information. So there are three highlighted words and those three words are very important. So uh, there is obviously information and there is there are people. And importantly, there is this action of connecting people to right information at the, at the right time and the right context. So this is very general. And of course, uh, as you can see, not only search engines and not only even recommended systems can fit in here, also conversational search engine uh, agents developed lately, and uh, even sometimes uh, digital libraries can fit in here. So uh, why is it important to study IR nowadays? Well, you, if you look at this course, probably you know that already, but if, if not, you probably noticed that um, different problems related to text processing, to various forms of ranking, to ranked evaluation, learning from interactions. These problems are everywhere, really, if you work in IT especially, and even if you don't work in IT. Um, so some parts of IR problems you can encounter everywhere nowadays, and that's why it's an, an important part of the uh, bachelor and master curriculum nowadays. Um, why is it important to study IR uh, as a special discipline, let's, let's put it like this. So IR is very different from um, other disciplines. Now, nowadays, IR is put within the AI curriculum. Now, IR is different from other AI problems, in, in my opinion, in two main aspects. First, IR deals with something called relevance. So no other discipline 
uh, deals with this notion and this notion is extremely difficult. So I put this quote from a um, riddle about uh, the answer to this riddle is tomorrow, but essentially relevance is something that no one ever saw, but it does exist. So there's no precise definition, there are only proxies. We try to formalize relevance in different ways, but uh, none of those formalizations really reflect what relevance is. And the problem is, of course, it's very subjective. My notion of relevance is very different from your notion of relevance, and it different, uh, it's different in different scenarios, not only between let's say, search engines and recommended systems, but even with us, uh, within search engines, if we talk about web search engines, there's one notion of relevance. If we talk about desktop search engines, that's another notion of relevance, and so on and so forth. So that's an extremely difficult concept, and that's what makes IR very challenging and worse seen as a separate discipline. And another, of course, very related but very distinct feature of IR is ranking. So, um, well, there is a, let's say, area of machine learning called learning to rank, which we will study within IR, by the way, that concerns with ranking. But again, no other discipline concerns with uh, positioning uh, items well, with respect to each other, almost no other discipline, let's put it like this. So ranking is really a central focus of IR. And of course, the ranking, the position of uh, items with respect to each other depends on their relevance, which is very vague, as we discussed uh, just before. And of course, in the ranking, we have to uh, consider dependencies between items, which may be, uh, again, very diverse and very Vague. So ranking is a very hard problem and there's no formal solution to it for this reason, because it's almost impossible to formalize relevance and the various dependencies between uh, items. We, we use documents or uh, products, for example, recommended systems. So for these two reasons, I think, at least for these two reasons, IR is very special and is worth, well, separate attention, let's put it like this. And finally, I'd like to say a few words how IR fits into the AI curriculum. So as I said, lately for the last maybe five years, IR is within the AI curriculum. Before it was just computer science. Uh, of course, IR, as many other disciplines nowadays, uses AI. Um, so it's mostly we as IR researchers and practitioners, we use uh, methods from AI and you will see certain applications of AI methods. But we also do contribute to AI to a certain extent because as I uh, discussed um, earlier, IR systems learn from users. So this learning part is really something that we contribute to AI, especially in the field of learning to rank and learning from a very uh, implicit user feedback. We'll talk about that later towards the end of the course. And importantly, uh, information retrieval and natural language processing are the two fields that deal with text, actually. So no other fields really focus on text. So, uh, and text is everywhere right now. Well, now we go beyond text, of course, we deal with images and audio and so on and so forth, but text is still uh, the basic and the most essential uh, means of transferring information. So if you want to work with text, which is nowadays everywhere, you need IR and NLP. 